on the computer. Shabam, let's, let's get started. So welcome to the webinar. My name's Tyler Watson, for those of you who don't know me. And today I'm going to help you learn one of the most simple processes on the planet. There are definitely advanced versions to this, but today I want to simplify it. And by the time we're done, you're going to be able to go through life. And it, if something comes up, a problem, something throws you off emotionally, mentally, physically, financially, whatever comes your way, you will be able to handle it in the moment and get back focused on what you want. I know after teaching just so many different clients, hundreds and hundreds of different clients, for most people, what stops them is, are distractions. They set a goal, and I've gone through this a lot, and I'm going to share some stories and some ways of how you can shift. So we set goals, and as we go for the goal, let me, oh, I'm going to dual this, admit. So as we set a goal, so here's our goal, right? Can you guys see this board okay? Is that, uh, can you guys see that all right? Just let me know, drop in the in the comments if you can. Yes. Perfect. Cool. So you have this goal that you're going for, right? So here you are. And the problem is, is as you're going for the goal, we expect it just to be like this simple journey. And we're like, cool. I want to go get this goal. I want to have health. I want to have relationships. I want to have more money. I want to have X, Y, Z goal. And as we set our focus on the goal, what tends to happen instead of a straight line is we go all like this and we're like all over the place. And sometimes we take a step forward and like 10 steps back and all these random, what we think are random things happen. So you set a goal financially, health problems happen and then family stuff happens and all these issues that take our focus and our energy that takes what should just take like 12 days takes, it ends up taking 40 years. There's a, a great parable that I love in the uh, Bible, actually. And it's, it's the parable of Moses. And he takes, uh, I guess it's, it's really fascinating. So he, he saves, frees all these people, right, from slavery, from bondage. And they're trying to get to this promised land right? So they're trying to get to this promised land. They're so excited. They're like, they've been in bondage for so many years as slaves. And finally they're breaking free. And where they need to go is just a 12 day journey, 12 days, 12 days. That's it. But it ends up taking them 40 years because they're mentally and emotionally and spiritually still in bondage. They are constantly fighting just the straight path to get to where they want to go. And so often in our lives, we have our goals, the idea of what we want. And the universe, God, everything is on board for that. But because we are fighting inside of ourselves, the distractions, feeling still bonded inside, we distract ourselves and we go through all the motions and it takes hundreds of times more longer than it should. And I don't know about you, but how many would rather attain your goals in 12 days than instead of uh, 40 years? How many would rather attain their goal in 12 days than instead of 40 years? Most everybody, right? But the, that's a huge problem is that we don't know why. And today I'm going to teach you that the main reason that it takes us a lot longer to attain our goals is actually due to two things, allergies and addictions. So when we go through our goal, part of us is allergic to the idea of what we want. So for example, let's say in your life, I don't know what your goal is, but let's say it's to make a certain amount of money or to have a certain relationship, whatever it might be, let's say that's your goal. Okay. So everybody write down a goal, everybody, uh, and go ahead and put it in the chat box. If you're here live, if you're not live and you're watching the recording, write it down. What is your goal that you want to attain over the next 90 days? What's a goal? What's your 90 day goal? Go ahead and write it down. 
because it's going to be super cool to see what you guys got and how we can help you attain that. And by the way, for those of you who don't know me, real quick, uh, before we jump into all the content, quick backstory. I'm Tyler Watson. I'm the founder and creator of the Abundance Alignment Technique. And before I got started, I super struggled. It was really tough to make any money. I was addicted to pornography, to video games, uh, depression, suicidal tendencies. I was the oldest son of, uh, there was five of us. And I had a lot of self-value issues. Although I put on my smile and pretended that everything was okay, deep down inside, I didn't feel like I could actually go and attain my goal very quickly, whatever the goal was. And what I found at, over the years, I tried to become an entrepreneur. Try, I was a massage therapist. I became a Thai Ayurvedic medicine and did all sorts of cool stuff. But at the end of the day, I was undervaluing my stuff. I was undercharging and overworking. So my first year as an entrepreneur working all the time, I made less than $13,000 in a year. And as I focused on that, I knew that I had issues from my past that were distracting me, that I would set a goal and I'd go for it. And then I'd have all the self-doubt. I'd sabotage myself. Random problems would come up and it got really annoying. And I thought, well, why can't I just set an intention, go get the goal and be happy about it and joyful instead of self-sabotaging and going through guilt trips and uh, wasting so much energy and time, right? And after I done a, did a ton of work on myself, I invested a lot of money I didn't have at the time, but I worked through, I did a lot of EFT back in the day, dousing. Uh, breakthrough code, body code, emotion code, all sorts of different things, modalities, I, over three or 400 different techniques over the past six, seven years. And going through those, I found that some of them, they work on a lot of repetition and passion. So if we focus on something and we repeat it enough, we're going to attain it. And that works. But it also takes a long time and a lot of energy. So you get tired, burnt out, and frustrated. The other methodologies, a lot of them focused on taking what you have and then figuring out the blocks, the root causes, the, the drama of the trauma, right? And the trauma of the drama and all these things and figuring it all out and, and changing it. That also took a long time. That does work. But I wanted to know what is the fastest way that a human being can set a goal and get the goal? And how do we make it to where all parts of us work for us instead of against us? And after studying a ton of things and literally investing almost $400,000, now I'm almost at a half a million dollars over the past six, seven years of breakthrough techniques and investing in myself and personal development, I found that you don't have to take 40 years. You don't even have to take 20 or 10 or one year. You can take your goal, the thing you want, your 90-day goal, and become the person capable in a very short amount of time and condense time. Time is irrelevant. So we think that it, like we're all the time battling time. But when we change ourselves and align ourselves with the thing that we want, every single part of who we are to the goal that we want, that is when things work for us instead of against us. And it all comes down to allergies and addictions and alignment. So today I'm going to teach you, and, and we've seen this technique work on so many amazing people. Some of you are here watching people manifesting their ideal house in a horrible economy. Like we found this house, we paid for what the asking price was. We have friends who have had to pay, who've lost to someone paying uh, over $100,000 what the asking price was. But that wasn't our story. And we aligned so that we could attain our goals in days instead of years. And we've seen people that have been trying to buy houses for the past three, four months, and they haven't been able to find it. We were The people we worked with, our mortgage, uh, the mortgage guy and the real estate, they've worked with people for several years. And they said they've never had anyone close early until they worked with us. We closed early and we have equity in the house. So 
like it was exactly how we wanted it in our ideal because we took the time to align. And it might seem like, well, what does that mean? Well, it means that the only reason people take so long to attain their goals is what? Is because you have your goal and some part of you is, if this is your goal, is fighting it, literally pushing the idea of it away and holding on to the past or the current situation. So we have the current situation that we're addicted to and the ideal thing that we want, which we are literally allergic to. So at the same time, and to every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So to every push, there's a pull. To every pull, there's a push. And today, I want to teach you a simple way using the abundance alignment technique, the intuitive version, to pinpoint really quickly the fight flight responses, neutralize these suckers so that you don't have to take 40 years to go get your goal. You can do it in days. Is that cool? So uh, for those of you here, I would just love to see it. I don't see anybody. Is anybody's camera on or anything? Anybody want to talk? I'd, I'd love to. I feel like I'm just talking to myself. Is there anybody on here? And we'll do speaker view. Hey, there's some people. Tracy, good to see you. All right. Cool. So we've got human beings. I love it. I like to see human faces. Helps me feel excited. Okay. Doreen, good to have you on. Awesome. And those of you brand new, welcome. Uh, Richard, awesome to see you again. Very cool <laughs> to have you guys on. Okay. Uh, Asia, I'm shy. Cool. Doesn't matter, right? We're bursting through what mm -hmm. resistance we have and we're ready to transform. So whatever you have, it's totally cool. Uh, we're going to dive in though. Okay. So with this, we are going to pinpoint some fight flight responses. I developed this technique about two years ago and it all started with gluten allergies, believe it or not. That was, that was what initiated this. And my wife was struggling with gluten. We had tried all the different techniques and nothing was, was working. Some of it worked for a day or two, but it wasn't lasting. So I was had the question of like, why can't someone transform and stay transformed? And after a lot of trial and error, long story short, Basically, we came to the point that the only reason she was <laughs> allergic to gluten was because some part of her body was still fighting it, was still allergic to it. So if we could figure out what part was fighting it and change that response, then theoretically she shouldn't be allergic to gluten anymore. So we did it and it worked. And I thought, wow, that's cool. And... Then we did it. Oh, look at all these amazing people. Uh, faces. Yay. <laughs> I love it. Thanks for uh, showing your faces. I feel like I'm in a, a real room now. This is great. And my house is like, I, I've got a big, big basement. So I'm like, hey, back there in the back. Awesome. So uh, welcome. 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 This is exciting. This, this is going to be fun. So yeah, we went through, did a bunch of, uh, a bunch of allergy stuff on foods. And then I thought, well, if it works good on food, does it work good with uh, money? So then we did it on money. And sure enough, I made like $8,000 in less than 24 hours aligning to having people reach out to me and pay in full for my services. And then I thought, well, does it work for other people? So then we did it on different coaches and they got similar results where they have 10 new people enroll in a week where that normally took three months. We've had people double their income to make $60,000 a month. We've had people manifest an extra 65,000 out of the blue. And we've had crazy cool stories with health where people have gotten rid of uh, all sorts of brain disorders and, and even eye disorders where they couldn't see and problems in their shoulders and backs and hips. And uh, even people who have had where a cardiac arrest where they couldn't even function for more than four hours a day, shift it to where they were functioning over eight hours a day. So lots of great stories, lots of awesome things. If you haven't seen the testimonials, you can check them out. And today though, I want to teach you a short version. 
okay? An intuitive version. Because the problem with most people is they learn this technique and then they're like, but Tyler, it takes too long. It's so long, blah, blah. And they're like, hey, it might take like two or three hours to change something that's been stuck for 40 years. And, it, and it's like comparison. Like I was talking to my brother yesterday and he's like, yeah, I've been really struggling with this thing, like with, with the, my uh, getting a girl and feeling like I could trust someone and not being hurt by them. And I was like, well, why don't you just align to it? Cause I've taught him and he's like, oh, it just takes so long. And I asked, how long have you been struggling with this? And he's like, probably like 10 years, 10 years, two hours. Come on, man. Come on. So our very addictions and allergies, but I know why that happens because we fight change so much. We resist it. We hold on to what is safe, what is normal, and anything that is different, our body wants to try to fight it. This is a good thing. It keeps us safe. However, when you, ignore, when you know that that's the phenomena, when it pops up, guess what? You, can, you have a choice. You have a choice. Every single person does. Hmm. And the choice is going to be, okay, am I going to work on myself? Or am I going to stay stuck? That's the choice. Am I going to work on myself and change this? Or am I going to stay stuck and just accept my reality? It's a choice every single person has. And today, I want to give you that choice to make it even easier through the intuitive alignment process, which literally can take five to 10 minutes. Okay. So how many here would like to just be able to change something and get better results without having to take hours and hours and hours and hours, even if hours and hours and hours was worth it, but you could do it in five, 10 minutes. Yeah. Anybody game for that? Okay. All right. Cool. So with the alignment technique, there's a lot of different ways to do it. Okay. Here's the essence of it. I want to go into why it works real fast. And, um, then we're going to dive into some of the how, and I'm going to show you and give you some examples of how I've used the intuitive alignment to, to really just shift some things in the moment. And it's been super helpful. Okay. So traumas, traumas, when we, he, here we are, right? Do you, do you, let me ask this. What is energy? What is energy? And this is where you get to unmute yourself and then just say like, what is, what is energy? Like vibrations and frequencies. Vibrations, frequencies. Cool. The energy is all there is. All there is. Great. What else? Like when you think of energy and we're not getting into the physics definition, but like energy. Action. 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 Okay. Okay, good. So action, all there is. Is there anything that is not energy? Technically, no. Right? Technically not. So everything is made up of a specific energy, a certain frequency. Even these markers, my fingers, you, me, money, emotions, thoughts, words, hard material, everything is made up of something. And that something, when it's broken down into minute pieces can be called energy. So here's the interesting thing. If I am here, yay, this is Tyler. And then I have all these things in my world where I have love or love that is broken, whatever it might be. I have money or maybe I don't have money. And then I have like my health or maybe i don't have health so all these things though that happen in my life if everything is energy and everything that happens in my life is energy the only way that these things happen in my life is if some part of me resonates on that frequency is connected to that energy otherwise it wouldn't be in my life so if I have, I'm driving down the road and I get in a car wreck, car wreck, ah, is that an energy? Is that a frequency? What if I'm walking and all of a sudden my back hurts? 
ah, back. Oh, man, all of a sudden, I pick it up an empty bucket. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> man, it must have been that empty bucket. Oh, gosh. Right? We think it, it is, but we look back and it's like, okay, is that an energy? Is that, does that have a frequency? Yeah. It does. What if I make a lot of money? I make a lot of money. Yeah, I make a lot of money. Is that a certain energy? Mm -hmm. What if I lose a lot of money? What if I make a lot of money and then all of a sudden all my stuff breaks down? And I'm like, oh gosh, I had so much money. It was so amazing for like two weeks. But then everything bad started to happen. All these car wrecks and all this stuff and all my stuff started breaking. Is all the breaking down, is that a certain energy? Yeah. It is. What about going back to where I was? Is that a certain energy? Yes. yes. It is. So every single thing in life has a frequency, has an energy. Dr. Reif, back in the 20s and 30s, he went through and did so many studies on that. Not just thing, not just like stuff has energy, but every single bacteria, virus, cell has a certain frequency. He was so smart, way smarter than me. He would even get to where it was like going to the point oh 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 decimal of the certain frequency. And it took him years and years and years and years of just testing electrical currents and figuring out what frequency are certain bacteria and viruses on. And if he counters it, guess what? Pfft, they explode and die. So he, he found back in the 20s. And you, we read all these books and we're like, law of attraction. And we, we see all these things. And part of us wants to believe it. Part of us wants to. And part of us has experienced it. And part of us thinks that it's real until it stops working. And then we start to doubt it. And we're like, Do, does it really, is that really real? Like, can I really change my reality? Is this just some woo-woo stuff? And maybe it's just because I was believing it. And maybe it was just by chance. And then we start to doubt. We start to, to question truths that were working for us. And guess what? The moment we start to doubt, is that a frequency? Yes. Yeah, unfortunately, yes. <laughs> yeah, so then we start to doubt and we start to deny the things that we thought were real. Maybe it wasn't me that created that money. Maybe that was just a one-off experience. Maybe the cancer just went away on itself and gosh, now I have all these back troubles. Did I, can I really change? Because now I can't figure out how to change my back issues, but I did solve that one, but I can't solve this. So the moment people get into something that they can't solve, a lot of times it brings up the negative frequency. Doubt. Yeah. This is a good thing. This is an awesome thing. Most people don't like this. I love it. When I'm, oh gosh, I was just talking about like when we bought our house and, and uh, we, we bought our house and uh, we come in and we did a check and everything. And then all of a sudden there was like a leak in the roof in the basement. And I was like, oh shoot. And we've never owned a house we've always rented and I've always just been like, it, it felt really good just to rent because then I'm not responsible. And now I'm like, it's my house and it's, it's got a leak and oh no. And part of me had a freak out and I was like, oh gosh. And I turn off the water and I'm like, crud, we literally just bought this thing and it wasn't leaking before. And now it is like, what the heck, what part of me contributed to this? So I looked at that and said, okay, there is a reason it's in my life. This thing happened. That means some part of me is on this frequency. It resonates with that frequency, that leak in my house. Yes, as crazy as it might seem. So I know that that frequency is an opportunity, is an opportunity to help me discover what addictions I need to get rid of or align. So when I have something that is opposing me or my intention, which you will have often in your life, it shows you what you can change. It literally is giving you what to change. So if you look I have for a question, it. Tyler. Yeah. 
Um, but you didn't cause the leak in the roof. It was the pipe or it was the hole or whatever. Does that make sense? Like, so, I, I, I feel like I didn't cause my divorce. That was something that just happened. Does that make sense? Yeah. What so if, we're going to get into a deep, deep that? that's a good, good question. So cause versus effect. Let's talk about that cause. What does cause mean? Cause? I don't know. It's something that happened or something it caused causes the thing that started it all, I guess. Yeah. So what does cause mean? Let's, let's define this. this a marker. Important. What's that? A, mar a marker. A marker, like. Like a start it, like a point of origin. Okay. So point of origin. Well, that's a good way. Okay, good. What else? What, what's another definition of cause? A trigger. Trigger. Okay. What else? Um, the initiating yeah. experience. Initiating maybe the start point of something. Okay, good. A, a catalyst. So, a catalyst. Okay, good. What's the definition of effect? It's what happens after the cause. <laughs> so, yeah. so, yeah, there's a cause to something. Consequence. Something. Consequence. There's yes. an action. Yes. Consequence. And then there's a reaction, right? The result. So the action is the cause. The reaction is the effect. So there's a push, there's a pull or whatever. There's, there's a motion going forward and a motion coming back. So she says, Tyler, but you weren't the cause of that leak, right? It was, it was there before. But here's the thing. Here's, and this isn't going to be for everybody. And you could go down the rabbit hole and be like, but what about it? People who have been raped and molested. And what if you're a child and go through that whole stuff? There's a whole description to, to yeah. we can go there. We can totally go there in life though, in life. Here's how I see it. It took me a while to get to this point. If I am here, leaky pipe over here. It is in my sphere of existence. Yep. If that leaky pipe is in my sphere of existence, some part of me has to, has to. Otherwise, it wouldn't be there. So you're me saying you on a frequency that is equal to that thing. Now, does it mean I cause that thing? I don't know. But I do know. Mm -hmm. I have some sort of frequency that is identical to that thing. So I know that if that is the case, if I change this, this changes. And I can only change me. The, so, the cause is usually in the unconscious mind. Very good. The it's, cause is usually it's not really mind. conscious. It's, yeah. it's not, there is no accident. Yeah. Right. Very, happens very cool. Because it's some thing in that in your mind and the other person's mind that caused the accident it's it, it, and that's not that's not a good thing if you want to get insurance paid if you're not at fault but but, <laughs> but the truth is on a spiritual level everyone right. yeah so, so you, you might ask so tyler what if i'm born into a family where i'm abused at the age of two or three like my wife had a an abusive experience when she was really young did i cause that Here's the problem with the word cause. When we think cause, a lot of people tie guilt, blame, and shame to cause, meaning that it's their fault. So there's a difference between saying there is a frequency and I was on that frequency that that therefore it happened. Did I cause it to happen? Maybe or maybe not. I don't know. I'm not in the game to, to, to say you caused that or did not cause that. I'm in the game of saying, what can you change to change? So for me, if I'm born into a, a family, I believe that even beyond before this life, there were frequencies. There were for energies. Mm -hmm. And I resonated on certain frequencies that allowed me into certain situations in this life to experience things that might be really crappy. Did I cause that? I don't know. 
that's not what I care about. I do know that some part of me is on that frequency. That's why it happened. And but that's less Otherwise, it wouldn't happen. So it's all about a lesson. Yep. Could be a lesson, could be an opportunity, however you want to interpret it. Could yep. be become your biggest crutch that you never look at or confront ever again and you hide it and stuff it the rest of your life and never talk about it because you're not at cause over it. But the moment you decide to be at cause, not the cause of it, but be at cause, meaning I can now change who I am. And when I change who I am, I can now have an effect on this thing. Boom, it's gone. So if I have a lot of no money, which I used to have no money, I knew I could have said, but it's not like I was just born into this family and I just went through all these experiences and I watched my mom suffer a lot and generational depression of years and years and generational strongholds and blah, 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 all this generational stuff to blame the cause. Mm -hmm. Like we just label it because we don't want to be at cause because then we have to have responsibility over it. Right. But if I can claim it and say, actually some part of me can change. Some part of me can change how I react to this. Therefore I am at cause not to blame, not to shame or guilt, but to change it, to change it. And that is what we're talking about. The whole point of alignment is owning that you can change anything in your life because everything in your life is a frequency and that frequency is only in your life because some part of you is on that frequency. Mm -hmm. Like if you turn the channel to PBS and watching PBS and then you change the channel to Disney. If you're on the Disney channel, you're going to get Disney. If you're watching PBS, you're not going to get the Disney channel. You're going to get what? PBS. PBS. <laughs> it's a specific frequency. So if I'm on the frequency of leaky house, that is a frequency. It is the, it, that's on, that is the frequency. So some part of me has to be tuned into it. Otherwise it wouldn't be in my reality. Right. It would not. Now, the crazy thing is, is that pipe could have been rusting for 10, 20 years. And as soon as I show up, yeah. Oh, what the? <laughs> yeah. It's but so I would have showed up true. if some part of me didn't resonate with that thing. So it shows me the things I need to change. When problems arise in my life, it shows me the opportunity of what I can change. So when I see that, I say, oh, I have some sort of addiction to this frequency. When I'm holding on to something or something happens that is not ideal, I look at that as an addiction. My body is holding on, not wanting to let it go. You guys following this so far? Mm -hmm. So holding on, okay? Now, let's say I fix the leak. 10 years go by, but I don't do anything to change this pattern. Maybe a year goes by, car breaks down. Maybe something else breaks down. Something else breaks down. Something breaks, breaks down. So some part of me is still on this frequency mm -hmm. that is creating these breakdowns or these fall aparts or this depression or this bankruptcy or this crappy relationship or this X, Y, Z, fill in the blank. So it shows us what it is that needs changed. Also, the thing that you want, back to what we were talking about, the thing that you want, your ideal, which is having a house with no leaks and that things work for me without breaking down and I don't have to fix things as soon as I get into them and I can have big expectations and have those met and continue to maintain big expectations. Like it can show me so many things, so many beliefs, so many patterns, so many addictive cycles that are tied to this piece. So there's not just one thing that can be tied to that frequency. It can be made up of a lot of different things that it can show you. Okay. And my ideal if I'm not attaining that, it's because some part of me is allergic. Mm 
to the ideal. So I can take either the allergy or the addiction and go through what I'm fixing to teach you right now, which is just an intuitive alignment, and it will neutralize these responses. What are these? What are allergies and addictions? So in the body, every single organ, gland, and cell has its own unique interpretation of everything around you. For example, people who have had um, organ transplants, people have an organ transplant and then their taste buds will change and it's not even related to taste buds. They'll all of a sudden wanna start painting and they never liked painting. They have these random memories that they've never imagined once they have organ transplants. Why? Because the organ itself contains memory and contains frequencies inside of it based on the previous owner. That's a fascinating thing. So it's not just about conscious and subconscious, but it's about consciousness of every single part of who you are. And as we tap into the consciousness of every single part of who we are and how it interacts with all the parts around us, then the game begins to be fun because now we can condense time. And mm. instead of fighting the things that we're wanting and holding on to things we don't want, we can simply align and be at full cause in our life, in every part of our body and say, actually, I want that thing. Every single part of me is on board with that thing. We're not fighting it. We're not flighting from it. We're choosing 100% choice to go get that thing. And then you create it. And that is how you become a full out creator of your reality. You guys picking up on this? Is this making sense? Yes. Okay, cool. All right. Like a time lag? Say that again. And then there's like a time lag, right? For practicing the new frequency without the- Yeah, the time lag thing, usually the lag is due to the fight flight responses. Right, right. That's why quantum shifts happen when you're in full, full state of alignment. There is no lag. Right. Okay. It's happening now. Things yeah. are happening faster. They're not taking as much time. So that's where you've condensed time to where being fully present, being fully in alignment with what you want, not being allergic to it, because you're right, allergic keeps pushing it away, keeps delaying it from happening. We're trying exactly. to make it, good things happen faster and to, to basically cut through the fear and cut through the doubts and all that and just really be present and joyful in receiving those things that we want and not keep pushing it away because of the guilt, like you're talking about the guilt or those subconscious um, allergies. Yes. To it. Yeah. yeah. Very well said. Virtual round of applause. Thanks for, for sharing and saying it that way. Okay. So the fight flight responses, if there's something in my life and it's, I'm holding on to it literally in my body, my body is creating chemical responses, having hormones created, produced that are holding on to things. So if you go in and you look at your adrenal glands, you look at your thyroid, you look at your pineal gland, every single organ and gland is simultaneously having a reaction based on your current reality. That can suck. And it's, it, it's not very fun when especially people set a goal that they want and then their body rejects that idea because it represents something not good. Maybe it's painful. Maybe it represents a lot of hard work. Maybe it represents rejection. Maybe it represents fear. So instead of going for the goal, all yay, a goal. I love goals. We're like a goal run. It's going to kill you. And we run the other way. Literally our body is like going the other way when our mind's like, no, I can focus. And then it's like Facebook, YouTube. Oh, wait, go back. Wait, I'm going to watch another three hours of Netflix. Why do we do that? It's because the body is actually producing the chemical hormones that are causing these addictive behaviors. 
And it's not just in the conscious and subconscious, it's happening in every organ, gland, and cell in our bodies. And that is the key here to realize that it's not just hypnotize yourself. It's not just verbalize things passionate enough and will it to be, which works. But if you will something to be while your body is still fighting it, guess what? Your body will break down eventually to a point until you're ready to look at it and say, what's going on with my body? Oh, I've been ignoring it. I've just been willing and pushing through so hard. And what if I actually took all of me on board with my goal instead of just one part? Mm-hmm. You guys, is this making sense? This is so important. I, I was listening to a book, David Goggins, amazing book. This guy is like, can't hurt me is his book. Uh, if you don't mind a bunch of F-bombs, he, he's, a, he's like a Marine dude, n- Navy SEAL, beast guy, yet his life was super hard and he broke through all the records and willed his mind until his body broke down so much where he like almost died. And then he, he started to get into like, pers- like actual looking in and saying, oh, I need to do stretches. I need to do this. I need to like breathe. I need to have different things happen. And I look at that and I say, someone can will themselves through a lot of stuff, but even the greats, yeah. they come to a point where there has to be something to say, Hey, uh, we need to look at this. We need to look at what's actually going on the whole time. He's probably fighting. He, he just willed through all of his allergies and addictions. And he, he had a strong will. Like he didn't care and all the pain, he just worked through it. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. Like most of us need a little bit more of that. However, what if you could align and not have to fight through the pain? What if you could align and create it to where it's a perfect environment for you to go achieve your things without all the fight back and the kickback and the, the struggle? That's what we're talking about here. And that's why we see such incredible results. And, and it is, it doesn't have to be as hard as we make it. The only reason it seems hard is why? Due to our allergies and addictions. Okay. Anne Marie says, oh my gosh, that happened to me when I worked so hard and finally bought a house only to find that the seller lied to me about in the collapsed sewer pipe and had to move back after two weeks, but asking myself what what happened. Wow. Yeah. So fascinating. So back to my story. So I went through this negative experience, this little tiny little hiccup, and I did an intuitive alignment. So let's dive into what an intuitive alignment is. An intuitive alignment is simply acknowledging the two parts. Okay. In a full alignment, you're going to acknowledge every single part of your body. It can take anywhere from two to three hours to do a full alignment. It's super effective, but sometimes in the moment you don't have two to three hours. So if you're busy, you're running around, you only have five minutes or 10 minutes. So this is for you. If you just have a few minutes, it doesn't replace the full technique by any means, but it is better than not doing anything because you want to address and move through stuff. So I would much rather you could just do a bunch of intuitive alignments and you'd probably build up to having it be a full alignment. And here's how. So when you're here and you have all the negative stuff happen, so this, let's say the broken pipe, right? Here's the broken pipe or whatever in your life represents that not ideal. This to me is the addiction. So that addiction is made up of a lot of frequencies, a lot of beliefs and thoughts and feelings and interpretations. Some of them being, so I look at the result and I ask myself, what is the, what is it that created this? Like, what is the energy? What is the frequency that would cause this directly. So I check it and I say, okay, I just bought a new house and I bought a new thing breaks down. So then to me, there's an addictive behavior that when I buy new things, things break or I can't, I am not good at owning things and maintaining them or things. I had an expectation that was really great. My expectations are never met. So this gives me 
the opportunity to find all of the frequencies that created this piece. So here's how you do it. You acknowledge several of them. So you want to come up with some. And the technique itself is really simple. Um, we're just going to do, this is just the basic part of it. Now, because it's stored in the body, we're actually going to address where you feel it. Some of you might not feel it. That's okay. Uh, you can just guess because your body's pretty dang smart, even if you're logically not tuned in. And that's okay. So let's say I'm like, oh, water pipe broke, so I don't deserve to have what I want. Okay. So I might say, I don't, I'm going to voice the negative. Do not fear the negative. We've, we're in this culture this day where we avoid the negative. We're like, we shun it. We're like, oh, negative is bad. Ew, don't do it, right? Hey, girls, you lost a tooth. Whoa, that is awesome. That's your first tooth to lose. Pound it. Poof. Okay, I'm speaking. I'll be done in a few minutes, okay? okay. Thanks for showing me. <laughs> you the awesome. best dad. <laughs> That's awesome. What was I saying? Uh, don't fear the negative. negative. Say that again. Don't oh. fear the negative. Yes, yes, yes. So the negative. <laughs> She's been like so excited about her tooth. That's awesome. <laughs> I should have lifted you up her face. <laughs> this is awesome. um, so the negative, don't fear the negative. Most people avoid this. They avoid it which therefore what you avoid tends to keep happening. So if we avoid the junk and we avoid speaking it, the only reason I would avoid it is if I feared it. And the only reason I would fear it is because if it felt real. And the only reason I would avoid the fear and it feeling real is if it hurt. There's pain associated. People avoid pain what we do so when i know that something's negative i'm all on it i'm like sweet let's figure this sucker out let's talk about it let's work through it because i know this is what's going to help me create what i actually want this is holding me back this is the thing that if i don't address it i'm never going to go get my thing i'm never going to become capable enough to actually attain it Okay, so we, we must not fear the negative. Don't fear the negative. Don't fear speaking it. You, should, you, you could be able to say, I'm not a good person. I'm totally broke. I'm incapable of making money. You could say all the negative affirmations you want. They don't matter unless you're addicted to them. Because if I state negative things, people are like, oh, don't say negative things. <gasps> it's going to happen. <gasps> And I'm like, only if you're addicted to it. But if you're at cause in your life, someone could say a negative thing to you and it's not going to affect you. You could say a negative thing to you and it could not affect you. Someone could say, Tyler, you're the worst teacher ever. You're horrible. You're manipulative and your teeth are too big. And I would say, cool. Well, if there's anything that, that affects me, instead of just fighting it or ignoring it or running from it, if I feel any pain, any trigger, any negative association, that's a good thing. Why? Because then it shows me, oh, there's something tied to this. If I change that, then I will not be a victim to those words ever again. This is where the power comes, is when you can take back your power from the words that you've interpreted over the past. And this is where you can truly make some amazing changes in your lives. So when negative things come up and it bothers you, you get offended, you get hurt, you feel a negative emotion, awesome. That is a good thing. It is a great thing. Why? Because it shows you what you need to change. If you don't change it, it's going to keep getting worse. And people will keep being mean and then it just is more painful, right? That's the main problem is people don't know how to handle it. But if we use this not as to fight back, the, the people aren't the enemy. People aren't the enemy at all. It's the words. 
It's our interpretations. They are actually the gift showing us what we can work on. Like we, we hire mentors, right? But we already have so many mentors, all the naysayers and all the people who hate on us and all our family members who poo-poo on our, our game. Like those are our mentors. They're telling us what we need to change. Cool. We just need, we need to thank them and then pay them. Like, cool. Here you go. Thank you so much. Wow. You just saved me a lot of money. You just helped me. Right? So we got to pinpoint these. Okay. Once we do that, we're going to align them. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So we're going to state a negative. When we state a negative, simultaneously, you're going to have reactions, emotional responses to these negatives. If you do have that response, that's a good thing because that is an addiction. So we're going to voice it, tap where you feel it, and then align it. And I'm going to show you how to do that right here. So let's take this. Let's say uh, it's, I'm not capable of having nice things without it breaking down. And part of that feels true to me. Part of it hurts. Like, oh, cool. I'm going to tap wherever I feel it. If I don't feel it somewhere, just tap anywhere. Your body will pick up on it. And your body will get to know. You're, you're, you'll start to feel where it really is. And when you're tapping on it, what the tapping does is it's a, it's a way to communicate. So all pain, pain, so pain is a disconnection, okay? So pain is a disconnection. So this is a disconnection, and that is pain. And pain, the way to heal pain or get rid of pain is through connection, reconnecting. So if I reconnect, the pain goes away. How do you reconnect? Through a lot of ways. One is communication. One is forming some reality with it. One is from uh, some likability with it. And then another is through understanding. Okay. If you do these things, you will be able to connect anything and heal anything in your body, mind, spirit, anything. Okay. All you are is looking is connection. I like the, uh, and that's why all techniques work. You can look at any technique. They will do this if it works. I like the abundance alignment technique because it does all of these at once because we're hitting words, we're hurt, which is understanding and communication. We're also doing reality by reinterpreting them. The communication also comes through the tapping. So when you tap on it, it's acknowledging where it is. So location, the proximity can also help with uh, communication. Okay. And when we reconnect things, things heal. It's, it's amazing. Why all the other tools, you can just look at them and they'll follow some sort of pattern like this. Okay. All right. So here's, here's what you do. So you state it, you voice it, or you voice it, you tap it, and then you do this alignment. Now, here's how it goes. So let's say I'm tapping the spot and I say the negative out loud, and then I'm going to go ahead and breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth and three times while tapping. And I'm going to pant three times while tapping. And I'm going to smile. So it's like this and you go back down about there. So it's and then you pan. and then smile. Why does that work? Here's a little bit more about why. When this disconnection is happening and I voice the negative, which re-stimulates the disconnection, the pain, it's actually causing me to feel some pain. All the chemicals are firing. Fight, 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 flight, flight. All the fight, flight responses. My, my autonomic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system, all these things are like firing. Some of them are shutting down. All sorts of stuff's happening. So what we want to do is why we tap, what we're doing is sending little micro signals or traumas down through our whole nervous system and is allowing ourselves to basically, so this, this feels like a big rock in water. It's like taking a boulder and going, and it's like, ah, oh, my body. Ah! So what we want to do, we're putting little rocks all around it by doing the, the tapping. So it's, and when we breathe, 
we're actually taking control of the fight flight responses through the nose and out through out the mouth. So we're shutting off the fight flight responses while simultaneously creating micro traumas that are turning off the big trauma. And then after we're done, we pant, <laughs> which then re-stimulates and resets the nervous system essentially. Smiling reset or it anchors it and locks it in. So when you smile, you're creating an endorphin release, which does a lot of things. Number one, it shows you that you're in charge over your emotions. Like you're not letting it control you. You're controlling how you feel. Number two, it's also anchoring in the thoughts and the, the beliefs that you're working on. Not the negatives. It's anchoring in that, oh, I'm changing these. And I'm a master of this. So when you smile, it solidifies it. It makes it real. You can do the whole tapping without smiling and you'll feel a difference. It won't work as effective. Um, and if you do it two breaths and two cycles, it'll work less as well. So it's the three, three and the smile, all that just tends to work really well. Okay. That's how you do. So you're going to do a lot of negatives, five, 10, 15 in the moment. Okay. So then you might be like, okay, what else could contribute to this reality that I don't like? What else, what belief would create that? Oh, I have to have leaks in my world. And you got to get creative. The more you do this, the more you'll see them. Okay. You'll, the more you'll recognize that, wow, these are patterns that I've found in my life. Oh, maybe I have leaks in my life that I'm not willing to plug. That could be a whole connection to it. Cool. I have leaks in my life that I'm not willing to plug, that I don't want to look at. I just want someone else to fix it for me. <sighs> and you might even change where you feel it. You can just tap different spots, okay, while aligning. Some of you who are might less be less coordinated, you could tap and then do it. That's okay. You know, if you're like, wait, wait, how do I, what, what is this? Too many, like, ah, what am I doing here? So if it's too hard coordination wise, you can always tap first and then align. That's okay. You'll, you'll still get the same results. I like to do it while I'm doing it. And then also in my mind, I use my conscious mind to really amplify the negative. So I'm not just going through the motions. I want to really focus on getting the reaction out of my body. That's important. So I want to bring up that reaction because I know when I do, then we're going to nullify it, neutralize it, and then create something more powerful. Okay. That's how you do the intuitive alignment. Part one, you do the negatives. Part two, we do the positives. So then you're going to take all these other things ideally that you want and do it on the positives. Okay. So let's say the leak thing was happening and I, maybe I wanted it to just be whole things to work for me. So then I'm going to state some positive statements that ideally I want and that I knew weren't because of this. And it's pretty easy. You're just like, Hey, it's probably opposites of this or some variation to it. So I look at this and I say, okay, I can have good things happen and continue to happen. And it can happen right after good things. Like good things can just keep happening one after the other. Cool. Smile. Now you might ask which hand do you use? Doesn't matter. You could do this hand, you could do this hand. If you get tired doing this, you can actually do it on the side of your thumb as well. You do have to hit it a little harder. Smile. You'll get similar results or along the side of your foot. So you can do it on your toe if you want to do that too. You just do it like. Mm -hmm. 
Not very many people do that one because that's kind of weird. But you can do it here and you can do it here. Okay, I like to do it here. It's just easier for me. Okay. So intuitive alignment. You're going through life. Something bad happens. You're like, oh, man. And instead of going through the circle of death, doom, and gloom and interpreting it and guilting and shaming and blaming and going down the spiral and staying stuck for the next two weeks, this is what you can do. You can be like, oh, that bad thing just happened. Sweet. This is an addiction. I have an addiction. Okay. What is it? Boom. Let's acknowledge it. Voice it. Tap where you feel it. Align. What else? Another one. Boom. Align. Another one. Boom. Align. Cool. I feel a lot better now. What ideally do I want? Voice it. Boom. Tap where you feel it. Align. What else? Tap it. Feel it. Align. Boom. Three, five times. And voila. You have just had some massive shifts in a very short amount of time. And you can get out of the cycle of the death, doom, and gloom and into progressing towards your goal a lot faster. Is that cool or what? Okay. Questions on this. Oh, by the way, we are like starting our certification in like less than two weeks. And some of you are in it already. So congrats. If there are some people interested, I've got like three or four spots left. And I'll, I can share some details right after we take some questions, okay? So if you are interested, um, let me know. If you are interested in like getting certified and teaching the full process, speaking, coaching, getting webinar going, like the whole works, basically like $400,000 worth of stuff crammed into several months so that you can become an amazing coach, speaker, teacher, and marketer all in one. Okay. So that's, that's what, if, is anybody interested in that later after this to go into some details of what that would look like? Anyone who's not already in the uh, certification who would like those details? Yes. Okay. So we got one or two. Cool. So I'm going to stay on here. Let's ask, let's make sure all your questions are handled here. Then I'm going to go into and talk about the certification. Okay. So what questions? Does this make sense? Do you feel like you can intuitively align now? I guess I had a question about the intensity. Like if you're doing the negative and it's super intense, do you just go, just uh, know that it's something that might not get aligned and then you just go into the positive, like, well, I can handle this next time it comes up. And then Good. just kind of. So when you're doing super intense stuff, um, I like to do more full, full alignments on like really intensive stuff, but if it's in the moment, here's kind of what you do. I like to rate things. When you rate, you have more communication and control over that thing. So this will help you not go down the victim spiral. If you're not used to working on yourself, it can be easy to go down into the depths of the blah, blah, blah. And then you re-stimulate all your negative stuff and then you just feel like a pile of poop. I've done that many times. And sometimes it's good to just do it just to experience it. You know, you're like, oh man, that was horrible. And I don't want to do that again. So sometimes you just do it for perspective. I'm kind of weird like that. So here's what you do though. I like to rate it. So if I'm working on an issue, I'll rate it and say, okay, 10 being the worst, zero being not at all. 10 being so bad, but be sure it's specific. Um, because as you're hitting limiting beliefs, what happens is, so let's say here's the crack and then here's like, you know, some of the negative things tied to it. For most people, this is actually what it looks like. So you have these, but then you also have these connected to these. And then you have these connected to these. And then you have these connected to these. And there's all these connections, right? And you're like, hey, I'm going to work on some negatives. And then we, we do like, I'm not good enough. And then it's like, yeah, I'm not good enough. And I don't even deserve to have a partner. And 
I don't even deserve to have a partner because my mom hit me and now I feel like I'm horrible and I'm just never good at anything and nothing I do ever works and nobody can help me. And it can go on and on and on and on and on. So be aware of that phenomena that can happen. If you go down the spiral long enough, you'll reach the end. That's one option. It does take some time. I would rather do this. I rate this specifically, just this issue that you're working on so you don't get into a hundred other issues. So it's like, okay, cool. I'm just working on this one thing over here with the leak. All the things associated to that, I'm gonna work this, 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 this. Okay, zero to 10, is it worse, better, same? Okay, maybe it's an eight. Okay, cool, some more negatives. Do, 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 do. Anything else? Cool, do a couple more. If I start getting into these, I you'll start to be like, hey, this intuitive alignment thing is taking like hours now. <laughs> so, so don't go down the rabbit hole too far, okay? Unless you want to. But I, I highly suggest, you know, if you're going to do this, you can just do the full alignment because the full alignment's going to hit all this stuff. And that way you're, it's a lot more strategic and you don't go down the spiral of doom and gloom and have to chase stories and all that stuff that I used to do uh, doing like EFT and stuff. So uh, that's what I suggest. Rate it, be conscious and go back to the thing at the beginning. Okay, know where you started and know where you want to go. And that will help because you will get lost in the thick of all the bushes and branches and you could. And then you're like, oh, I feel worse. So just realize that you're working on this. You don't have to work on your whole life all at once. We're just working on this thing. And then positives, negatives towards that thing. Align, 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 and you'll be good. Does that help? Yeah, I just came up with another question. What, yeah. what did you mean by related or understanding it? So do you give that words like in, of encouragement or how do you? Uh, sh uh, yeah, so like we're talking about how to heal things. When I was talking about the four ways to heal, to connect, was that what you're referring to? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So real fast, here's what it is. It's called a circle of connection. So there's this thing called circle of connection. And remember, pain is a disconnection, right? So if you want to, the whole name of the game of healing and transformation and getting results is what? Reconnecting, connecting, right? Connection. So then we want to understand, well, how does one connect? Okay. That's the game. So there's four ways that you can connect. One is through communication. One is through uh, understanding. One is through having re what's called reality. One is through a thing called likability, likability. So real fast, communication is sending a signal to one thing, having it be received and acknowledged. So if I say, hey, Alana, and Alana acknowledges it with however she does it, she's like, or hey, then that is one whole complete communication. We just communicated. Every time we communicate, we actually are what? Connecting. We're building connection every time. So if you feel disconnected somewhere, that's why a lot of techniques, they have you talk to your organs or write to stuff or um, like tapping works is because what we're doing is actually communicating with that thing. Now, why does talk therapy not work all the time? Well, because if you're just communicating one way and it's not being received back, then it's not a full cycle of communication. And also there might not be any understanding or like ability or reality. If you just have one, but you lack or hurt the other sides, then it won't be fully connected. So communication makes sense. Re that's how communication works. Understanding. This is what is meant by what is sent. So let's say I'm like, hey, uh, Doreen, this is a marker. And you're like, you have no concept of what marker means. Right. And you think I just flipped you off. Like, here's a marker. 
and you're like, <gasps> like there is a disconnection of, un there is a not understanding going on. So we will actually feel less connected. So I'm like, hey, Doreen, and this is like a bad word to you. That is called not understanding. Because in my mind, I'm like, this is good. In your mind, this means I, you just called out my mom and her dog and all of her friends and told me that they're horrible. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that meant that. Like, so understanding is knowing that what is being sent is actually interpreted how it was sent. Okay. That's probably the toughest one. That's why redefining definitions is so important in the alignment process. The full process is because that's why we're actually creating understanding. Reality. Reality is like, um, okay, hey, would you, is, this is blue. And if you're like, yeah, I agree, that's blue, then we have a shared reality on this. If you're like, actually, that looks more green. So that means there is going to be not reality. So we will be less connected. So if I think one thing and you think something different, that can be a disconnection of reality. If in my life, I'm a member of a certain organization or a church and my spouse all of a sudden decides, I'm done with this. I don't want to be in this church organization anymore. Then there will be a break in reality and our connection will be less until we build on one of these things. Okay. So same with money. Same with, it happens in all sorts of, every single area. So reality is, <sighs> is having that concept that it is a real thing to you and that it is in, understood by that other person in a real way too. And that it, it's kind of a mix between understanding, but reality is acknowledging that that thing is a certain way. Okay. Likeability is simple. Likeability is like, hey, Tracy, I really like your shirt. And you're like, thank you. We, yeah. So compliments, why do they work so well? Well, the moment we like something and someone else likes it with us, we feel more connected. connected. Imagine that. So if I like something, uh, how many of us have ever not liked part of our body? <sighs> yeah. So why do you think there's pain and disconnection? Because some of us don't like parts of us. We're not communicating with those parts. We're not understanding those parts. And there is no reality. So guess what? All there is is pain and disconnection. And no wonder we're all messed up. Make sense? Very much. Good question. Round of applause for that question. So let me, let me get some feedback. What are you guys getting from this? What are you learning? What are your takeaways? Because I could talk all day, all week. I could literally go on for months about all sorts of stuff. But that doesn't matter. What matters is what are you actually getting out of this and how is it going to make a difference in your life? Uh, One quick the idea is to, there's a, a belief that we are separate, a, a belief in separation from whatever it is you're disconnected from is a belief in disconnection rather than just the disconnection itself. So if you eliminate the belief in the disconnect that there is anything disconnected, then you can change your reality to where everything you do, be or have is always connected, which, oh. is, which is love. Exactly, well said. Yeah, virtual round of applause, awesome. I love that. Who else? Let's get a couple more takeaways. What are you getting out of this? What are you going to do differently? Well, I think it's being aware in the moment of what's happening to you, like from moment to moment, and so that you can address the feelings that come up, the issues that come up, and deal with them on the spot. I think, like I commented to you when you had originally sent this out like two days ago, and, uh, and, um, I've been doing that too for a lot of years. So I, I try to deal with stuff in the moment because I feel like it's like it's stuff that's always been there for a long, long time. And it's been tripping me up 
And because I have the skills now and more aware, it's like, oh my God, yeah, that's been, that's been bugging me for years. And it's like, as a matter of fact, I was just telling my aunt about that. It's like, you know what? I am tired of being afraid of illnesses. Mm. And I happen to be really sensitive because I've been dealing with um, a, a, a client's issue of cancer and beaten it, which is fantastic. And now, but then now there's another issue about a stone and it's a, another physical thing. And it has been just racking my freaking brain. Well, now I find whenever I'm watching TV, I hear commercials for pharmaceuticals and it's always about some kind of, to be lung cancer or, or, you know, metastatic breast cancer. And I feel even watching the medical shows, it's like, it's like, it's almost like it's too much. And it's like, wait a second, I have to stop. I'm tired of being afraid because it's, it's triggering my nervous system to be nervous and scared about everything. And it's like, I'm fed up with that, enough of that. And now I'm dealing with those issues and, and, and I'm not like, I'm not, um, um, I'm not unaccustomed to doing this because I do this practically every single day. But now this is one of those big issues that you're talking about. This is, one of, this is a really big issue because it triggers my whole nervous system. And I go into that flight mode where I want to run away from it because I'm afraid of it. Because I, when I was working with her, I felt I felt the energy of cancer and it's overwhelming. It's bloody well overwhelming. Yeah. And yeah. to be able to separate myself from it, it took a lot of focused, focused effort. Because I know like what you talk about is you can take on these energy, you can take on this energy and become sick. And it's like, be damned if I want to become sick with cancer, right? And so you talk about a lot of time, which just mirrors exactly what I've been saying for years and years. And I talk to my clients about, about be careful what you think, be careful of your environment, be careful of what you listen to, be careful of people that you associate with, because so, it does have so, an impact on us. So, and, and let me, let me just uh, interject there. The thought of being careful might not serve you as much as you would like. So right. I used to be so paranoid uh, when I first learned all this stuff of what I thought, what I ate, what I drank, literally to where there was like nothing else out there that you could eat or drink because nothing actually had goodness in it. And I was always the time looking to be careful. And it was almost as if it was like this paranoia of careful about everything I did. Well, you can, it can be, get to that point too. So That's where the just, balance comes in. Yeah. yeah. And I've gotten to the point where I'm not careful anymore because to be careful is also out of fear for me. It used True. to. Be. So now I'm not, I, I don't worry about what my thoughts are or what I say or what I do because I know and knowing when you know something, the carefulness doesn't have to be there. Like we're only careful because we're afraid that something bad is going to happen. Something not ideal. So if I have a knowledge and an assurance and a surety, then I don't have to be careful anymore. I can just be sure and solid. So, so I just want to point that out a, just based what, on some of the things you mentioned. Right. But what, what you talk about and what um, uh, with the alignment is that it gives us control back over yeah. our situation, over, you know, recognizing like the truth in advertising, let's say, and realizing that that's fear-based, that can be fear-based, it's not all fact-based, okay, and, and there's the balance, too, of making sure that, that, you know, like, we, we, we do have a choice about what we listen to, yeah. what yeah. we believe, right, because, because, and that's why they say, it too, it's, be careful who you associate with because you yeah, will become yeah. who you associate with. So it's like, yeah. and I'm in this group with you because yeah. I have an alignment, okay, with, with um, believing and understanding that I can have control over my situation, my reality. And now I'm getting into the subconscious part 
the subconscious parts that have a way of sneaking in, sneaking in, right, with those little leaks, <laughs> those unexpected leaks that reveal really um, our own th our own belief about disappointment, right? Not being able to have something perfect um, the first time around. Uh, that there's that there's always going to be some kind of disappointment lurk. It's yeah. like yeah. no, it's time now to understand that for what it really is. And you can even possibly trace it back to our childhood, like your childhood. Maybe maybe that totally. disappointment totally. was tied to the the parent, the fact when your parents divorced, right? And you yep. felt your yeah. world was falling apart and you didn't no longer had that stability. And, and you had put so much faith in that, that union between your parents. And when that it's like, oh my God, that was a huge disappointment mm -hmm. for you. And that just kind of like became a, that was like a trigger point, you know, like, yep. and then everything was measuring up against that. And can I, can I interject here? And of course. So with that, it's it's really great because that was my addiction, actually. So I, I was know. addicted and I attract it. And so it was the very thing I feared, yet the thing I was addicted to. And we all tended to have that. Yeah. And uh, just to kind of wrap that up, words matter. So when, when you think of something like be careful who you associate, be careful what you think, be careful what you watch, be careful. I actually prefer the word be conscious of who you associate with, no, be that's conscious better. of what you think, be conscious of what you'd eat, be conscious. Yeah. Because careful has a whole definition and meaning yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fear conscious too. to me just feels a lot better, but yeah. this all comes down to definitions and your reality with the word. For me, I was so careful all the time that I was, it, it, it was, yeah. it was a horrible thing for me. Yeah, I had to break paranoia. free from that definition. And now I connect things to, instead of thinking that I have to be careful what I say or do, I'm just very conscious of what I say and do. I am very conscious. I'm not careful yeah. for yeah. Per se, but I am very conscious. So yeah. I am very conscious of what I do and say. So well, well put, well said. Everybody give her a huge round of applause. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. Okay. May I may I may I inject something? I have a question. Yep. Good evening, everyone, and yeah. thank you so much for what you're doing. You're it's um, it's amazing. I'm learning so much. I do want to participate with a a, a deeper um, a immersion into this process, but right now I'm um, I'm taken with the chaos in our in the world around us, especially as it relates to gun violence. And I have sought to be conscious about my thoughts about uh, that subject. And because I wanna change my linguistic, my neuro-linguistic response in an effort to rid myself of the fear and hopefully be able to project a higher consciousness into the atmosphere around me. And it isn't that anyone close to me has had a horrific experience, but the horrific experiences are happening. And I feel connected enough to everyone that is happening to, to want to alter the atmosphere in a positive way. So my question to you is, how can I, at this beginning point, begin to alter my neuro-linguistic response to decrease my own anxiety and hopefully influence the atmosphere at large? That's a really great question. A couple answers there. Bad things will happen. Bad things have happened. Bad things will continue to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, who was it? I think Jim Rohn once said, like history in a nutshell, really bad things has, you know, basically this is it. The, you know, the past hundred years, are a mixture of really bad things and really good things. Next 100 years, are going to be a mixture of really bad things and really good things. Mm -hmm. That's like life in a nutshell. It's life. So I look at this and I say, okay, if here we are, right, and we have all this stuff going on, this chaos, and things are just going to get more chaotic, but they're also going to get more beautiful. So here we are, and all this chaos, 
all this chaos is happening. It's getting more and more and more, right? Gun violence and deaths and selling people and all this stuff just everywhere. We have a choice. We can tune into it and let it affect us negatively. We can tune into it. We can feel it. We can become empaths and let it affect us for a negative way, meaning dropping our energy, dropping our light, making us feel darker, depressed, incapable. Or we can see all this and say, okay, some part of me must be connected in some way back to where we started to the frequencies of all this stuff. And if I'm connected to all this stuff, guess what? Here's all the good stuff too. So this is actually where it comes where uh, um, Alana was saying, hey, be careful what you watch, view, and do. Be conscious of what you watch and do because here's the thing. If I am constantly viewing and filling my mind with all this good stuff, guess what? Part of me must be on that frequency. So... If I fill my life with all the news, all the negativity, all this stuff, part of me is resonating on that frequency because I hear it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be hearing it. So I don't listen to news. I don't hear that because I don't, I'm not on that level. Mm-hmm. I listen to only really, really positive. So now sometimes people tell me stuff and then I hear it that way. I'm like, oh, some part of me might be uh, connected to that now. So then I work on myself and I say, okay. What part of me, by hearing this, how do I feel? How do I think? Does it raise my level or drop my level? So if I hear about gun violence or the people being shot or killed or whatever, does it drop my momentum? Do I now feel scared? Do I feel uncertain? Do I feel like I wish I could do something more? Do I feel like I don't have a purpose? Do I feel like all these things? Well, guess what? That thing is happening in your reality to show you, back to what we just taught, the negative pieces that you can align and you could do a an alignment on that so that you can tune in without tuning out and as you tune in you can level up and now be at cause over this stuff and as you raise your level of vibration and you're more at cause over your life other things start to change i know i can change my world i know i'm can change the people in my home And I know I can start to influence my neighbors. I know I can start to influence everyone on here. I know I can influence everyone who watches my webinars. Uh, I know my influence by how I show up, how I think, how I feel, how I speak, how I handle things is going to impact how you think and feel. And how you think and feel is going to impact me. So we are a collective in that way to say, hey, Well, we could either all focus on the really negative things and make it feel really bad, or we could say, hey, they're there. They always will be, and it will probably get worse. But what am I going to do about it? Am I going to step up my game, start living my mission? Am I going to confront my own fears to show other people by example that they don't need to be crippled by all the criminalities that are happening out there? Or am I going to sit at my house and not take action on things because I'm going to let my own fear dictate myself, which then also impacts negatively everything else. So I know the more I confront in my life, the better it is for the community. The more I confront my fears and I invest in myself and I do things that are scary. I do the things that are hard because I know that if I can do that, these things might seem hard to change. But the only way I can change them is if I do things that are hard in my own life and go first. Mm -hmm. Like Ghani says, be the change in the world that you want to see. It's super true. Because if I want to see the change, I must be the change. And that is the best way. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink, but you can sure salt its oats. We are in the game of salting the oats, Alex. (laughs) Good example. We are in the game of salting the oats. So here's all the horses that we want to go drink our, our Kool-Aid, drink the water, right? Or go eat the oats or drink the water. We have the power by aligning to salt their oats with love, with understanding, with connection. 
And the more we tune into that, they are going to be so thirsty. Either they will die of thirst or they will change and drink the water. How do you feel about uh, changing your lifestyle so that you detoxify yourself uh, of all the toxins that you accumulate in Great. your body? And that could actually eliminate a lot of the, you know, a lot of these conditions. Absolutely. Yeah. You can do it physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. There's a lot of ways that people Detoxing can get on, on, our level. on the frequency. On, on an alignment on the spiritual, mental, emotional, physical, detoxing everything. Yeah. And, and spending 40 days detox or uh, three days at least or more detoxing, maybe 21 days. And then you're clear. You don't have any, a whole lot of stuff to detox, to, uh, to uh, challenge you. Yeah. There's some great stuff out there. There's so many things like I've done so many things I've done. I've done a lot of weird stuff and all for perspective. And a lot of it's great, but I still come back to what's easy, what's fast, what's efficient. And aligning is that for me. So I, I still take herbal supplements, but if I feel like something's not working, I know that I could align. You can also instill frequencies of herbal supplements. So you don't have to take the herbal supplements, but that, requires more energy and focus, which right. I only, I'm like, Hey, for me, it's faster to take a pill sometimes than to actually like intentionally do it. So I go the least resistant path sometimes, and we all do. So I just try to find what's easy, what's fast, what's simple. And we do that. Cause every day there's something well, new that comes up. Yeah. There's something new that comes up, like you're going to do a detox safe. I've done that too before. I've done a detox for, for like weeks, weeks. And, and um, I go through, I've been through a lot of, at the same time as doing a physical detox, of course, you're going to, there's going to be some emotional stuff too, because there's totally. emotions that are tied to the, you know, to the toxins that are in your body. But you're every day you're going to come up with something yeah you know, or you're going to have more you're going to end like now i find my days are much more positive than they used to be very cool so now it's I'm just getting, gonna get better yeah all it's the better, better right all yeah. the better right so because i've been doing this for a long time and been conscious like i like that word better than like it is, you're being careful, but you're being conscious about your choices. You're being conscious about what you choose to let into your life, choose to focus on. I used to focus on the fact that like all, all the fears, I couldn't do it. Uh, why I couldn't do it. Yeah, um, right? All this was, stuff. Right, all the shit, you know, pardon me, but that's what it is. It's the crap, you know? And then it's like, well, wait a sec. I had a friend who would focus on just the negative and it's like, no, wait a second. Huh, whoa. That gets me down too much. I've just been digging myself out from under that stuff. I don't want to put myself back into it. And I find that, you know, pe people who sh aren't supposed to be in my circle have been dropping away by the grace of God. Um, not by anything that I've done, just they have chosen to no longer associate with me. that's fine. They've been too damn negative in the first place anyways. And I was trying to dig, I was trying to pull them out of their negativity, but they chose to stay in it. It's yep. like, what? So You're let ready? me, let me Great. pause you on that. So this is a good transition. So a great way to pull people out of something is through leading. It's much better to lead than to pull and push. Yep. So, is it okay if I share a little bit about the certification and what that looks like for those who are wanting to explore that? Yes. Cool. Let's do it. Then we'll wrap it up here in the next 10 minutes. All right. And I just want to thank you guys. This has been really fun. Thanks for participating. Thanks for asking such good questions. Thanks for uh, being a part of this. It always is, is fun. Um, let's talk about the certification. So the certification, this is it in a nutshell. If you want to make money, if you want to teach people, if you want to be the change and actually lead by example, if you want to confront things, if you want to be able to market and facilitate transformation, then the certification is for you. Okay. It is not for you. 
if you are not in the world of transformation, if also it's not a good fit, if, if you are in the victim mode of wanting to be saved, not a good fit. Okay. I don't deal with saving people or, um, pulling people or pushing people. I, sometimes I push people. I, I'm sometimes I put on my coaching hat depends on that word, but sometimes we will push you. We'll probably push you a lot actually. So it, anyway, but in a nice loving way. So it's for those who point. are really wanting to move faster to condense their learning instead of taking five to 10 years to do it in three to four months. Okay. Most people, uh, well, my journey, this was what mine looked like. All the things that I'll be teaching you. My first big program I bought was $35,000. And it was when I didn't have very much money. So I didn't have that, but it's what I needed. And I looked at it as, oh, I'll probably be wasting this money anyway over the course of 10, 20 years, struggling my butt off. Or if I hire somebody, I'll just struggle all in one year, get it over with. So that's how I looked at it. I was like, man, I'd rather just spend six months to a year and struggle, get over it so I can actually get results, map it out and like make it painful. So I had to, I invested my first program. That was to only learn how to sell high ticket programs. That was the only purpose of that coaching thing. I also bought a whole program. It was like $5,500 on presenting. So I did a whole thing on speaking. That was actually before the selling. And I bought that with a credit card from my brother-in-law when I had less than $1,600 in my bank account, no clients, super struggle. That was the year I made less than $13,000 in a year. My wife was pregnant. She couldn't function very much. It was, it was amazing. Super fun times. Wouldn't go back and do that again, but it was a great learning experience. So I went through that and learned how to struggle. Got that check. <laughs> okay. Don't need that lesson anymore. So I learned how to struggle and was really good at it. I was like a professional struggler for a long time. Uh, really good at it. I was, man, I branded myself as a struggler and I wore the badge of honor, like, whew, like many people do. So I went through that, bought that program, bought the other program. Then I ended up going through and buying other programs. Like one was like building out a sales team. And that was another $30,000. And one was another one to how to build funnels. And that was like several hundreds of dollars every month. And then other things from getting webinars up and learning how to build a webinar, which I've spent probably tens of thousands of dollars in different webinar platforms and how to put a webinar together perfectly and sales messages and how to market on YouTube where we would spend anywhere from $5,000 a month figuring that one out and Facebook stuff and getting it shut down and trying again and quitting and trying again and <laughs> like going through it all, uh, changing my message year after year after year after year, not knowing my niche, who am I serving? What's my message? All of that. So I did a lot of coaching, uh, a lot of breakthrough work too. So I did a lot of stuff, uh, bought a program, $65,000 one time for a year intensive of stuff going through and breaking through all this stuff, getting to root causes, chasing the root cause, all that. Uh, then I did a bunch of past regression stuff. And then I did a bunch of EFT things, 10,000 hours or so on EFT, done a lot there, um, bought body code and programs there and did those and dousing for years and all sorts of great things. All that to say, it's been almost half a million dollars investing in myself for the past six, seven years. You could go that route. You could go spend a lot. Because it, 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 to get good stuff, you got to spend good money and you got to work hard. We're talking about creating a huge legacy. If you go to college, most people spend 20, 30, 40, some of them 60, some of them hundreds of thousands of dollars going and getting doctorates or chiropractic stuff. And then they still don't teach them marketing. They don't teach them how to transform people's lives. They just teach them the one piece. I was tired of just learning the one piece from so many people. 
I was like, I have to buy everything. From this person, I got to learn that. From this person, I got to learn that. From this person, I got to learn that. And I was like, golly, is there somebody I just use? I just want it all and everything to work. So that's why I created the certification. I was like, I want people who are leaders, who are self-motivated, who are willing to confront, willing to put in the time and effort, and are ready to make a difference in their lives and in those that they're serving. I want to help people who want to make money. I want to help people who want to look back and say, I have lived a great life, not just a good one, but a phenomenal great life. And I have put myself to the limits and I have stretched myself beyond and become who I'm meant to be. I want to work with people who are not going to settle. That's the kind of people we're working with here. And as a certified instructor, you will get all the pieces. Here's, let me, let me show it for those of you who are visual. Here's what you actually are going to get. And it's well over $30,000 worth of value. I believe it's hundreds of thousands of dollars of value, especially if you actually did everything that I did. Um, somewhere is the button to show you. Oh, here it is. So here it is. This is basically what you're going to go through. There's two options. One is if you've never learned the full process, you're going to click this button. Okay. So if you haven't spent at least like five or $500 or $3,500 with me, then you'll click this button. Okay. If you've already learned the technique in the past, like the full process, then you, you know who you are then you're going to click this one. You get a discount because you've already spent at least probably 3,500 with me. Okay. So here is what, and you can hear all the different testimonials, awesome people. Here's the details. Week, week by week. Uh, and you can read all this, but basically we're going to go through and focus on vision first. Vision is critical for success. People without a vision who just learn tools, get burnt out. They don't use it. They don't fully apply it. So we're going to talk about the vision of how much you want to make, who you're going to impact and how it actually works and go into a lot more details on, on those pieces. We're also going to get really good at the abundance line of taking. A lot of people are like, Tyler, I, I need my own personal breakthrough. I still am not like, I don't feel competent teaching it yet. I know nobody ever does when they sign up for this. That's why they sign up for this to get better themselves so that you can go teach it. Guess what? If you want to get really good at yourself, what's the best way to learn? Teach it to others. Yeah. So guess what? I used to suck at sales. So guess what? I dedicated a year at teaching how to sell. Oh man, it was hard. I studied a lot of stuff too. I was like, I got to get good at sales. So I'm going to start teaching this stuff. So I, applied it and then I'd teach it. I'd go do it and, and teach it. And that's how you speed up your progress of working on yourself. Okay. If you're selfish and you really want to get results yourself, then the certification is actually really good because it's going to force you to get results. Okay. Uh, that's why I love this. Okay. We're going to go through and teach you how to facilitate it on non-believers, on believers, like how to redefine definitions. We're going to go in depth on dealing with emotions, holding the space, online sessions, in-person sessions, remote work, all that. Um, also going to go into a lot. So the first three weeks are a lot on the, the, the you're going to get work on yourself. You're also going to work on each other in the group. So you're going to get practice and doing the full version, the simple versions, the, there's like eight different versions that we're going to go through and you're going to experience them uh, because you're going to be teaching it. Okay. And then we're going to teach you how to build your own program, how to take all your knowledge of all the cool things that you know, including what you'll be learning and tailor it to your story. Your story is what separates you from everybody else who's doing something similar. It's your story. It's not the tools. It's not the techniques. It's you. People will buy from you, not because of the tools or techniques. Now, if you have really cool tools and techniques, it does help. 
which this is a really cool technique. But ultimately, what is the decision from the buyer is you, how you show up, how you communicate, how you share your story, the energy and vibration you bring, right? Back to what we were teaching, because if people pay you, it is because they're on a similar frequency and vibration. If they're not paying you, it's because you're putting out that frequency and vibration to not pay you. So we're going to change that so that you can get paid and get paid well. I don't even care if you've never sold a thing. Okay. Uh, so I, I was there. <laughs> so we're going to teach you how to get your first one to five paying clients. And then um, this is going to be focused on more enrollment skills like week six. So about halfway in, we're going to really be refining enrollment, practicing, selling. Then we're going to go into actually teaching the technique. I want to actually teach you how to sell before teaching, because if you get good at sales, you'll get really good at teaching. Selling, all it is, is teaching. Like I'm selling right now, but I'm not doing anything other than teaching. I used to think like, oh no, I'm going into the sale. And then I was like, ah, are people going to buy? Ah, and had so many misconceptions, definitions, negative frequencies around selling that I would push people away who needed what I had. So I did them a disservice because I didn't change myself. I had the gifts, but I didn't have the ability to communicate it. And once I learned that actually, sells is service. And when you're selling to someone, it is by far one of the most powerful experiences and it helps people change faster than anything when you can learn how to sell. So I am really passionate about selling now. I used to be really scared. Uh, I took those classes on like, you know, you take those tests and it's like how good you do. I, I remember I was in an MLM company and I filled out all the bubbles of like how good I was. I, it was, it showed red, orange, and then green. And I, I got green on like motivation, green on personality, uh, yellow on uh, product knowledge, and then red on sales. <laughs> red on sales skills. I sucked. It was so bad. I still have that printout just to prove it. I'm like, no, I was bad. I was bad. I could not sell anything. So you're going to get good at sales. We're going to also teach you how to hold online workshops. Right now, during the pandemic, we want to learn how to do online and live. Pretty soon, and it's already happening, people are hungry for in-person events. People are hungry. Watch. There's going to be a huge boom, huge surge. You can either ride that surge or just watch it. It's up to you. I'm going to be riding it, and it's going to be fun. So we're going to ride it online and in person. And I'm going to teach you how to do both, what to charge, how not to be boring, state changes, body language, how to actually present and engage, like doing this webinar. There's an actual format that I follow very randomly, but there is a format. <laughs> so there is a format, there is a way, and you can teach like this. You can teach in your own personality to help people stay engaged. Make sense? Is that making sense so far? Okay. All right. Next piece. We're going to refine your market and your message. So once you get good at being able to teach the full process, then we're going to get you to where to, to market it. Okay. Marketing is important. It's different than selling. So there's th three parts of a business. There's marketing, selling, and fulfillment. You have to have all three. So a lot of people just teach the fulfillment in certification. They're like, this is how you teach. This is how you fulfill. They don't teach you marketing or sales. So then you're up a creek and you just spent tens of thousands of dollars on a certification and you're like, I am now certified broke. <laughs> so that is not my goal. My goal is for you to be certified and empowered to go create wealth and go create an impact and you don't need any other program after it. It is, that's it. That's the end of it. Okay. So it's all in one. Uh, we're going to teach you that. Then we're going to get into preparing for your live event, getting through any resistance and fear. You're going to have resistance. I know you do. I know you will. And we're going to cut through that. We're going to just cut the stuff right at the core and we're going to practice it. 
you're going to do it with me. You're going to practice with, with, with others. We're going to get good and mess up together quickly so that you don't have to just struggle the next six years trying to do it on your own. We're going to make your first one profitable. Your first event, I want you to make money. Uh, none of this freebie crap. Like uh, this is going to be you making money in real time, like real money. So I had one of my clients, they did over $1,500 their first uh, first event and they didn't charge very much for it. They they just, on my certified instructors, they just like, oh, I'm just going to charge $300. It's like, fine, but do it and go sell it, right? So make some money doing it. That will be fun and you'll be excited. And then guess what? Once you do it one time, you could do it again. You could do it again and again and again and again and get really good. Biggest one I ever had, I had uh, 30 people attend. They all paid like 500 bucks. You do the math. So how much is that in a day? 15K. Not bad for one day's work, right? Uh, and not to mention all the upsells. So then from that, I had several people purchase my $10,000 programs and my $5,000 programs. So it was much more than a 15 day, 15K day. And that's how you have to look at it. This is a business that you're going to be creating, not just a one-time wham, bam. Hey, that was a fun thing. No, we're, we're, we're going to get a real business going. Okay. How to stand out and make market like a pro. Uh, this is where I, this is what I'm really excited for. And honestly, if I just did this, it would be worth it. If I just did one of these pieces, it'd be worth it. But I'm going to help you create your mini webinar because uh, one thing for me that really helped was when I had a, a webinar that you could lead people to and then sign up for your stuff. So I'm going to help you build your webinar and I'm going to critique it so that you can have a webinar that will convert. And I'm going to give you my funnels that are actually converting right now, which we have made well over six figures, multiple six figures with one funnel that I'm going to share with you. And so I'm going to show you and I'm going to give you the templates. I'm going to help you map out your webinar. And that is for promotion. So that's your marketing webinar. Okay. So that's like if a friend's like, hey, what do you do? And you're like, oh, well, I've got a couple options for you. You could either lead them to a strategy session or you could say, hey, sign up for this little uh, training and it'll tell you everything that I do. And by the time they do, then you'll have a link. It'll lead them to book a session with you or just buy your, your product. So it'll either be buying to go to your event or purchasing your online course or something or purchasing some one-on-ones with you. Cool. How many would love that? How many would love to have something that you could just send people to and they could just buy from? Yeah, it's fun. It's nice. It works. It does take time. It does take effort. You'll have to refine stuff. You might not make your first one successful, but I'm going to help you get it to where it you'll you don't have to take like, five years doing it like I did. <laughs> so, so I, I know what works and what doesn't, and there's a really good format for it. Okay. Then after that, uh, we're going to be uh, graduating and, but shabam, blam, it'll probably be about 12 weeks. It'll probably go more actually, just based on what I'm doing. We might go uh, 14 to 16 weeks just to let you know, and we'll be doing it um, probably twice a week. One we'll be doing in the morning. One we'll be doing at night. That way we hit people because we have some people in Hawaii. We have some people all over the world. Some people only be able to hit one time. So we want to make sure that at least you hit once one a week and they'll be recorded so that you can watch the recordings as well. You get access to the recordings forever. So if you miss stuff or if you even can't make any of them, you can just go back and watch them and go through them and then send me your assignments. Okay. So don't worry about like when and where that's not important. It's just important. Like, are you ready to change people's lives? And if so, if this resonates, this, uh, this is going to teach you to how to teach the abundance alignment technique. And if you don't want to teach the technique, you want to teach your own stuff. Totally cool. I'm going to teach you how to do it as if you're teaching the alignment technique, but most people I teach have other things that they want to teach too. So if you have that framework, you could not only teach the alignment technique, you could teach anything. Like I teach all sorts of weird stuff, but I teach it in the same format. And that's the important piece. Okay. And you do want to focus. I do want to help you focus because the lack of focus and squirreling and going all over the place and shiny objects and that's not going to serve you. So we are going to focus 
This will be focused on mainly the abundance alignment technique because at least if you can get results doing that, you can do it with anything, okay? And I don't care what you do. I, I'm a huge advocate for you teaching your own stuff. I love that. That's what I started at first. So uh, I use this as a tool to help you learn all the skills, okay? And plus, it's really great to teach anyway. It's an awesome technique. So that's the certification. It starts in two weeks, I believe. Let me see. It starts the, yeah, two weeks. So a week and a half. So we got about a week and a half. Starts on the 26th or 27th, I think. And then it'll go for about three to four months. And then after that, so, oh, uh, prices. So how much is this? Well, the value on it, what would you say? Like if you could honestly master speaking, coaching, if you could sell and enroll making $1,500 in a day coaching, and then you could upsell to your own coaching stuff, what would that be worth? Do you think you could create like a high five figure, high six figure income doing that if you focused on it and really wanted to? So it depends on what you value it at. To me, it's well over a six figure value. If you haven't learned the process yet, here is what it costs, the price point anyway. The investment, if you pay in full, it's one payment of $6,700 or three payments of $2,332 or seven payments of $1,028. So we have a different options. This is if you've never learned the technique, you're gonna get to learn the full technique. So you'll get that. I'm also gifting you three months of group coaching and three months of aligning, weekly aligning with me on top of all this too, uh, just as a bonus. And all those who already purchased, you're going to get that too. So extra coaching and extra aligning. Okay. Uh, just want to really make sure you guys succeed. I also am going to throw in a bonus called Mentor Maker. This is super cool. This is going to happen after the alignment, uh, the whole thing's done. But I want to show you also how to just mentor people to where you could sit down one-on-one -on -one with somebody, coach them through a transformation and charge them money for it that they're super happy and willing to pay. Cool? So I'm going to be taking you through a whole mentor maker course. And you could just do that for like 2,500 bucks and you'd be pretty pretty cool as a mentor. But I want to add that as a bonus for signing up as well. Okay. And I am going to do this for those who sign up. We have literally like four spots left in this alignment technique. We only taking 15 people in here. We only have four people left. So there's four slots open and I will give you a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Uh, I was only going to, I was going to stop it, but I'm like, Hey, 15 one-on-one -on -one sessions. That's not bad. I'll, I'll do that for all of you guys. So uh, everybody who signs up is getting a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Some of you have already had it. And uh, for those of you who have had sessions with me, how, how has it been? I'd love to just hear some, some comments. What have, what have you learned and gained going through some sessions with me? Amazing. <laughs> really? Wow. I, Stuff it that I was wanting for years. It happened in one hour. It was amazing. Yeah, very cool. So it's some detail, so mysterious, but it's it's amazing. Well, thanks. Yeah. So everybody's a little different with their one on one. Sometimes we do a full alignment. Sometimes I talk strategy, and it really just depends on your needs. Okay. So clarity is super important for when you're moving forward. So that's that. If you do want to, uh, if you've already purchased the full process in the past, so you've probably spent like 1500 or 3500 already or more, then you do get a little bonus uh, discount. It's one payment of 5200 three payments of uh, 1832 or seven payments of 813 Okay. So that's if you've already done the technique. If you've already learned the abundance alignment technique or the complete alignment technique, whichever one you paid for, then this is your option here. And you still get all the bonuses. 
So bonuses, and you get three extra months of group coaching and three extra months of alignments, which by the way, we do alignments every week together as a group. And you get access to all the previous alignments that we've ever done. So if you're like, Tyler, I'm really struggling enrolling clients. Cool, we've got an alignment on that. Tyler, I'm really struggling with my immune system. Cool, we've got an alignment on that. Just go do it. Uh, Tyler, I'm really struggling with my relationship. Cool, go do that one. Tyler, so my goal is, I and I'm facilitating them. I want to do this the whole year, where by the time I'm done, I have a whole year's worth of alignments on any topic possible that when people plug in, they can just like align and shift and change. And I'm excited. I'm already super stoked for what we've created so far. And it's just getting better and better and better. So that's it. If you would like to align here and uh, join the team, join the group, or you have questions, let me know right now. I'm going to give you this link here in the chat box. Again, we only have four spots and I am closing it once we get it filled. Okay. Because the due to the nature of this, uh, how in depth we do, I can't have like 30 people in it. It's just, it just won't work. Uh, I can't focus on you guys as enough. And my goal is to over deliver. I try to do that in everything I do. My uh, man, where's my chat? Uh, I know. Can somebody chat? Put a chat. Do something in the chat and it should pop up for me. Oh, here it is. Cool. Oops. Everyone in meeting. Boom. Okay. So there is the link. If you would like to get become a certified instructor, you will learn the technique yourself. You'll get some online courses. And then this is going to be live with me for like three, four months. My goal is that this time that we go around, I'm going to be really thorough. I've always tried to do that in my past ones, but just because I'm going to be doing a lot, like the webinar stuff, the marketing is going to be hit hard. I might extend, like, I'm just going to do it until I see you guys succeed. So you're going to, I'm only doing this this year too. Not, not anymore this year, just one time because I am putting so much energy into this one. I'm only doing this one time this year. Uh, so if you would like to hop on, be one of those who are transforming people's lives, learning how to move yourself through any stuff that you come up with and being able to fill events, teach people, transform their life, make money at it. Whether you want to make money or not, maybe you just want to become a better teacher. And instead of going and spending $10,000 on being a better speaker, this could be it. If you're like, hey, I want to learn marketing and just marketing, this will probably be more valuable than any $5,000 or $6,000 course you do in marketing as well. Okay, because each of them are about that, that you have to spend uh, to get good at those. I mean, I did a whole event just on speaking that was 10,000 bucks in Singapore and it didn't pay for any of your trip. So you flew there and then it was a four day event or five day event on speaking for 10 grand. So super good, but hey, I want you to get your money's worth to where by the time you're done, you don't just learn one skill, you master a lot of things. It is going to take effort. You're going to need to be present. You're going to need to ask questions. It's not like, a, hey, just pay the money and you're going to get the results. No, you're going to, this is only for those who are actually going to work it. Like you've got to confront a lot of things doing this. You're going to confront your money blocks. You're going to confront talking to people. You're going to confront your marketing issues. You're going to confront a ton of things and you have the tools and the support that you need to do that. Okay. You'll have that support. So I'm excited for it. I'm excited for all those who have already signed up and I'm super stoked to see the next level and you guys go make an impact. My goal is to have some of the first people who make their first six figures this year in teaching this. And you could totally do it. It's not hard. It is not hard. I made my first six figures the year after of making 13,000. And it took me a sum total of seven months. And I didn't have half of this stuff. So if I can do it, and I was from Arkansas, 
and I had gap teeth and everybody made fun of me. I had no friends, no email lists, and I was addicted to everything. Then I think with all of your knowledge, everything you've already been through, even just listening to my webinar, you're further ahead than I was. So there is no reason you cannot succeed unless you just choose not to. So uh, there will be a replay. I'll be sending this out um, and I'll be uploading it on my uh, YouTube as well. So you can find it on my YouTube channel. I'll be sending this out to your emails if you registered and then it'll come with the link as well, okay? So again, if you would like to sign up, save that link. Next week, the price goes up $100. Every week on Thursday, uh, the next two weeks I'll be doing, or at least next week I'll do one more live webinar on a different topic and I'll be sharing a little bit more about certification. Price goes up $100. So if you want to save another $100 or another $200 because I'll be doing price jump two more times, then purchase it now if you would like to get in. Plus it'll probably be filled by then. We only have four spots left, okay? So that's what I have. That's the certification. And I'm excited for it. I hope you are too. Questions? Comments? Jokes? I'm putting something into the chat. I can't do both at the same time. <laughs> Sorry. No worries. Yeah, Tyler. Yes. When you talk about doing the full alignment, is that that's with <clears throat> breaking down all the topics of categories? Are you still using that? Yeah. So the full alignment, yeah, you go through, um, you align, you, you take a phrase or a word, redefine it, and then you align all your organs, all your glands, all your chakras, all your... Um, inhibitors, which there's about 40 or 50 now, and then all the enablers, which there's almost a hundred of those. And then you anchor it. That's the full alignment. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And are you so, doing, are you doing like, are you testing to see which ones are out or are you just? Um, yeah. The full one is easier if you muscle test just to figure out which ones and then go into the modes or the master modes and stuff. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then, and then just do you line them all at once? Or are you just doing sections at a time? Um, there are versions where you can do all of them at once only if it's as effective though. So you always ask that question, will it be as effective? For example, I was working on somebody the other day and it came up. No. So you, I had to go through and do all of them individually, every single mode. And it took like two hours. Okay. Yeah. Well, obviously, the, the people that are asking questions of you now have had the full experience of the total alignment. I have not had the full experience, but I am intrigued with the components that I hear you speaking of and of the basic philosophy that I believe that you're coming from. But I would like to have the full experience before I make this decision yeah. about whether or not I'm going to, to move in. And so, uh, I mean, I'm, my, my, I put my whole head in, I put my whole head out. Now I have to decide when I put my whole heart in and, you know, do the hokey pokey. So, <laughs> how, so how, do I, how do I get that experience uh, if we're finished with this uh, presentation now? At, do I get the experience of the full alignment? How does that happen? Yeah, that's a good question. So we've had, we, I, I have had people, like I had a guy in Hawaii, he signed up, he's never experienced it himself, but he just bought this. He's like, I'm going to do it. Let's go. Uh, because you're going to get it a lot. If you need it, here's one way to do it. I have a, the, the prequel to this. Like if people have already bought it, it's 3,500 to, to buy the full program of the alignment technique get three months of group coaching and then get three months of aligning. So that's like the normal um, program that is to do it on yourself and then go through the training. So you have a lot of courses. That's all gonna be included as part of this if you haven't purchased it in the past. So 
uh, you'll get all of that with it. Does that make sense? Or if you don't want to do that, then you could just go do the 3,500 thing. So that's, okay. that's, that's the uh, option. I charge a thousand dollars per alignment that I do. So if you wanted to do an alignment with me, like that's fine. If you just want to do straight up a la carte, it takes about two to two and a half hours. But I, I always think like to get the best out of an alignment, it's really good to learn it yourself because also there's alignments that I have people do prequel a lot of times, which is one is things don't work for me. I've tried everything already. That's a group alignment we've done that I send people to do usually before they do an alignment with me because I don't want to have to work through all that junk about things not working. So they go shift, shift that. And now we're going to get some good results. So, so I always think if somebody's like really ready to make some big shifts, they're going to go on a journey. It's going to be aligning multiple things. It's going to be not just one thing. You're going to get through multiple things. And once you unlock one thing, then the next level of something. So it's always evolving your next level. Uh, and that's why I believe like learning the technique is a really important thing. Yeah. Does that answer your question? It does. Okay. Thank you. Yep. And let's see what we have. I'm work, I'm committed to doing the work of transformation in my life and lives of others, particularly elders and youth. Sweet. That, that was me. Okay. Yeah. And just to some perspective, my wife taught youth uh, she taught me how to teach online, which we're going to teach you a lot of that component. And she would charge $400 per youth and get 10 youth in for $400. That's 4,000 bucks she would make teaching a six, seven week course to 12 and 13 year olds. So people get stuck on the money piece and it's like, but I'm teaching youth or I'm teaching these people. And I'm like, yeah, my wife made a living teaching youth. And they would pay $400 each and she would fill it with 10 kids. So you can do it no matter who your niche is. It's just that belief a lot of times because we haven't done it before. We have to believe that it's possible. And where does that belief come from? It comes from hearing other people's experiences. That gives us uh, ideas and perspective and permission. And then aligning. Aligning so that you're on that frequency and then learning the skills so that you can go do that thing. Okay. Yeah. But my wife, she used to make 4,000 bucks teaching youth leadership skills and working two hours a week, six weeks in a, at a time, not bad. Right. I mean, even if you just did that, <laughs> so there's so many ways we can make money, but a lot of times we just have so much doubts and past junk that it limits us from actually creating what we want. So don't let your past limit you. Allow your future to guide you, not your past. And Maurice, thank you very much. Your course sounds incredible. I just signed up kind of like you have for a yoga certification, invest a lot of money, so I may have to wait. That is fine. Or you can do them both at once. Yay! I do lots of courses all together. And anything you do, if you align to it, it actually works more effectively. So... Um, and I don't know if you're going to learn in that how to market, how to speak, how to fill events, how to sell. So you might just look into that, analyze what you get out of the, the yoga thing. Cause I've, I've been yoga certified and it was great. Um, but I didn't learn all those pieces. I learned really cool yoga stuff. I got Thai yoga therapy certified and that was epic. Um, but then I was struggling financially a lot. So just keep that in mind. Like there's all sorts of pieces to the pie and do what you can do. Cause I know it's another course, another certification like focus, but as you expand, we can take on more. So if you expand your identity that you can take on more, you can do more without it overwhelming you. Awesome. It would be wise. But if you don't do that, then maybe not, you know, might not be wise and just stick with what you're doing. Um, is it possible to do a healing session with you if I don't enroll a course right now? Yeah. Answered that. So if somebody does want to do one, it's a thousand bucks. If you want to do a session with me and, um, that's what that is, or you get it free by signing up for this. If you take a statement, do you full, let's see, 
if you take a statement and do a full alignment based on a statement, but you have a lot of issues, how do you decide on a particular statement? So coming up with a statement is a skill. Uh, we're going to actually teach that in week two or three. I basically, it's all based on what people want and what they don't want. So why? Because those are the allergies and addictions. That's what we're trying to find. So a lot of times it's asking a series of questions of what people want and then what they don't want. And then after you ask them what they don't want a lot, then what do they really want? And is that what they really want? And then defining that. That's how I usually come up with it. I also have had a lot of practice with it. So I'm just really good at it. To teach you how to do it, it's, it's practice and practicing asking questions, doing what's called following the thread of the conversation, which is a skill set. Some of you may have learned a little bit about, but uh, that uh, hopefully that answers that. Suzanne, can you anchor it into it? Yeah, you can anchor anything. Yep. For those of you who know how to anchor, you can anchor an intuitive alignment for sure. Okay. That's what I have for you. Any other questions today? Again, if you want to sign up, there's the link there. It'll be super great. If you just do one event and you fill it with 10 people and you charge $500, you made $5,000. And then if out of that, you enroll two people from the end of your event into your coaching or into your next level. And you sell that for $1,000 or $2,000. Let's say it's two grand. Then you have not only made five, but you've made an extra four. So you can make $9,000 pretty quickly doing this. To do that, if you're not used to those numbers, you're going to need to align to those numbers, which we're going to work on to just make $10,000 be a natural state of existence every week or every month, okay? To where that just seems normal. When I first started, I wanted to make $100 feel like one. And then I wanted to make $1,000 feel like $1. And then I wanted to make $10,000 feel as easy as $1. So that's kind of how I got my mindset wrapped around it to where even one day we did an event and made over a quarter million dollars in three days teaching. So you can do it. You can. It's all about what do you want? What do you not want? And are you ready to change it? Cool. Ooh. And not only the money, you know, because money's fun, but it's really not the, the more fulfilling part is the people behind the numbers. Like, that's the coolest part about it all. Like when you're, ch when you're making money, it means you're changing lives. So realize I talk a lot about money, but every time my meaning of money is people like, that's what I see behind every dollar sign is a person whose life is being changed. So that's how you have to look at it. And knowing that you're, you should be really ready to make a lot of money. So yes. it's like, I'm ready to make a ton of money because that's how many people's lives you're going to change. Any other questions before we wrap up? Tyler, I just wanted to say, uh, I really liked your, um, your teaching on the communication and connection because that's really key to alleviating a lot of the pain. And what you said tonight is very valuable, so thank you. You're welcome, thanks Tracy. Okay, well, Thank you everyone for joining me on this webinar today. Hopefully you've had as much fun as I have. And I'm really just grateful. I'm grateful to be here in where we live and grateful to be a part of a great world and country where we can teach, where we can learn and we can grow as a community where we have legally, we can do that. Like awesome, like such a great freedom that we have to do this freedom of speech. I'm super grateful for that. I'm, uh, I'm really honored that you guys spent this time with me and want to thank you guys for that. And for those of you who would like to spend a lot more time with me, certification, link down below, click it. It'll be fun. Sign it, pick one of your payment plans, whichever one you want to do, paid in full, three payments or seven payments. Either way, it works out and it'll be a lot of fun. So thanks Alice and thanks for all your shared blessings and encouragement and gratitude. Thank you guys. Have an awesome weekend and crush it out. Remember, do intuitive aligning. If you have something that comes up, state some negatives, align. State some positives, align. 
you can be in control of your situation and your circumstances. So if you're on the fence wondering, hey, is this a good thing to do? Just ask yourself, hey, if you do this and if you commit, would it be something you regret? Or would it be something that would grow you and expand you to the next level? And either way, it's your choice, right? So uh, whether you decide to do it or not, I just want to thank you for being here. And thanks for honoring yourselves and working on yourselves, taking that time, because that's where it's all about. All right. Thanks, guys.